Hey guys, what's up? Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for casual raiders. Uh, we're gonna be drinking some beers and going over some uh, Bellowers today. If you haven't tried Mad Elf, try Mad Elf. It's eleven percent. It's amazing. All right, so let's go over Bellowers. We're gonna go over skills, masteries, artifacts, PvP, PVE, all the fun stuff. I just leveled them to sixty the other day. Why I, haven't leveled, why I haven't leveled him yet is because I had my 60 farmer. He's going to be your 60 farmer if you get him. If you're newer to the game and you got a Bellower, congrats, you have a 60 farmer that can get you a 6 to 7 second speed run. Um, as long as you build him with hitting hard. So let's get into it. his skills. What's great about Bellower is, look at this, attacks all enemies. Attacks all enemies. Attacks all enemies. So he's got three hits that attacks all enemies. I don't know if anybody else has this, but he's awesome. Like he's a he's a rare that you can level him up pretty easily because of the, the tombs. So attacks all enemies on his A1. 20% chance of placing a block. Skills cooldown for one turn. 20 gets up to a 30% chance. Not bad on A1. A2 attacks all enemies that has a 50% chance of placing a 50% decrease speed, which is great for uh, Fire Knight. Great for PvP. Great for PvE. <laughs> like just reduces the speed on, on any boss that, that you possibly can get it on. Uh, but reducing speed is great, especially when it comes to a rare and an AoE. Uh, get that cooldown to a three turn. And then this one attacks all enemies has a 75% chasing 25% attack down. So it's the weaker points, but he's a rare. And a 75% chance of placing a 30% decrease defense. So that gets boosted up to 100% chance on both. So this is kind of the AoE that helps you get through the waves pretty easily. Down to a 4 turn. His aura is uh, speed and faction crypt. So if you had a faction crypt early on, you can put this on for everybody to go faster. I don't know if I have him as a lead in my factions. I probably will change that knowing that now. There's six, it's almost 7,000 reviews on this guy. Spider Dens, he's going to help out on that, especially just because he has so many AoEs. So using him to kind of get through the waves and putting his artifacts more like tankier. If you're going to use him for spiders, make sure he's tank uh, to kind of get through all the spiders. So what I have him in is um, just as much damage as possible. I got him later in the game. Like a lot of people were talking about him early game, but I got him late game. So I kind of built him for fun. But we have him in two sets of the Cruel set. Kind of get the ignore defense and 15% attack. So we got this one for crit rate, crit damage, crit rate speed, crit rate speed. This one, crit damage all the way. Like as long as you get up to 100% crit rate, get that crit damage glove. Uh, attack for the chest and then uh, attack for the boots because he's my campaign farmer. So I don't need him with a ton of uh, speed. If you're going to use him for um, PvP, you need him in speed. Uh, and so this would be speed boots. Um, what else for PvP? That's about it. I have him as a go second team for my cardinal. So if he dies, he comes in and just nukes as much as he can. So again, I don't need him with a ton of speed. This is as much speed you need for him to go first in the PV uh, in the campaign. Uh, attack, crit damage, and attack. Pretty basic. Uh, these are his total stats. We got him up to 255 crit damage. Again, casual raiders. I'm a casual raider. If you could do that, if I could do this, you could do this. 100% crit rate needed, uh, especially with AoEs. 255 crit damage. Um, accuracy, I got it a little higher just because he does have debuffs, like a lot of them. And almost 4,000 attack. So these are his stats, his masteries. I finally got him to 60 mastery like yesterday. So his masteries are going to be this one just for consistency. Like I want a consistent secret damage. You can do this one. A lot of people do the uh, Helm Smasher just for the extra uh, ignore defense. I wanted the consistency, so I just wanted this. So I know that I can get through campaign without even worrying about it. Uh, this gets him as a shield once he kills somebody, which he's always gonna kill somebody. And I wanted this just get more attack and all the fun stuff. What else would I do is I would do probably this, this one for PVP, and this one definitely for his debuffs. So going with those two if you wanna do the full masteries. So let's see how fast he can get done the campaign. Most of you guys are gonna get through the campaign and get up to Brutal. 
This is going to be your campaign farmer right here. You got him right there. Uh, let's just go. I think it's seven seconds, eight seconds maybe. So hitting for 36,000. Eight seconds. So I think the fastest with him was six seconds. AOE, AOE, and AOE. So there you go. So you put them on auto, like the 30 you can, or if you just have like a, a auto clicker, you just kind of put it right there, and he just does it as many times as he possibly can. But this is kind of what you're going to use them for. I took away my Kale, and I replaced them with Bellar. Because Kale was like 13 to 30 seconds. <laughs> just so random. Because the other guys get to attack. If he's fast enough, you want him fast enough just to kind of be ahead of everybody. And one shot all the waves. So there you go. Now since he, him being Void, he could essentially be good in everything. So anything when it comes to the dungeons, he's going to be good for you. Especially if you build him with like HP... Um, chest piece or HP gloves um, and speed boots, like make him a little bit more tanky to kind of help you through all the dungeons. But being able to clear all the waves and kind of put all the, all the debuffs on all the waves, he's gonna help you through almost everything. Fire Knight, he's gonna get you to the Fire Knight, but he's not gonna be as helpful. I mean, at the end, he's gonna put up the decreased speed, but that's about it. And I guess, the, yeah, he's gonna help out on Fire Knight just because of all the debuffs he has, as long as you have enough accuracy on him. Uh, dragons, obviously great. Uh, spider, great. Ice Golem, great. All the keeps. Again, he's Void, so he's going to help out on all those. Let's put him in Dragons. I'm, I'm just curious. I've been running Dragons just because I was a late game guy. So let's get rid of... <laughs> I, just, I just made this guy's video. Smash Lord, go watch that video. He's If you don't have him, just watch him. He's freaking hilarious. Uh, there. Yeah, okay, cool. So... I'm just curious how much he gets for. He's very slow, so he's not going to be doing anything. Why do I have him in there? I probably have Arbiter in here just because of the video I made with her. Alright, what is she doing? 72,000. Not bad. 72,000 damage on an AoE. And if you want, you can put stun artifacts on him to kind of help you through all the waves. My Faction Wars, once I get up to like really being serious on their Faction Wars, I'm probably going to put a stun set on them just to kind of help, help me through all the waves. He locked out all of their, uh, their cooldowns. And I want to see how much he hits with the Dragon for. But he's hitting hard, he's in like 50 some K on the AoE. So we got the defense down, weaken, hits the Dragon for 58k. Not bad. He's a rare. <laughs> Guys, he's a rare. He put the he put the the weak attack down on him. That's hilarious. I haven't seen that in like forever. The dragon's attack down. It's good. It's great. Cheers. Finish this off. Come on. There's a tournament coming up for Ice Golem for elves. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but it's coming up. Oh, I died. Uh, not bad. Six hundred eighty-seven thousand. All right, let's go into PvP. I know you guys want to see him PvP. Let's throw him in some PvP. Now, what I wanted to do with PvP is make him go second, obviously, with my three v three teams. But let's throw him in some go second teams here. So, if we do a go second team. Where we go, him, her, him, and my Rezzer, Cardinal. So we do like kind of like this. Or, yeah, let's, let's just try this. So it's, it's, it's either, uh, what's it called? Seer, or another DPS that can potentially stun or CC. Because if you don't have somebody that can stun or CC, they're just going to AoE nuke everybody down and kind of defeats the purpose of your second. But look at all the buffs. We're just going to destroy everybody when we're resin back. Watch this. So, 
heal up, or speed up, provoke, and then get rid of all the buffs. Bye bye buffs. And then he comes in, and I think we should nuke with this one. Yeah, let's nuke him with this one. Alright, slow it down. <laughs> okay, he did nothing. Um, how do we survive this? He did like 8,000 damage. I think I need a defense down, though, that's why. Yeah, I need to bring somebody else in. If we could just kill the Arbiter, I should be good. Nope, can't kill the Arbiter. Alright, fast forward. Alright, let's pretend you have a person that you're going to use them, like not like me where you ever go second team, let's pretend you ever go first team. So we're going to put uh, this guy, this guy, let's go Basher. Now I want him to actually go, so we need a, somebody to CC, see my 260 speed, yeah, okay. So we're just going to have him CC and then we're going to have this guy, okay, cool. So I'm just going to show you how much damage you can do. So we're going to get into, go first, stun everybody just so I can go, debuff, and then I don't know what he does on auto. 64k, not bad. But he's a rare, guys, he, he's, he's a rare that you can book up as much as you possibly can. Like 64 or 70k is like kind of what my legendaries hit for. Let's get into this guy. Damn it, I have to use this. All right. What do we got? We got um, another team that you might use them for is your blender comp. So I'll show you next what a blender comp might do. He's so slow, my arbiter laps him. Uh, did you do this one or this one? No, 70k. Alright, so 70k, not bad. A blender comp, right, is gonna be. He, he's, he's too slow for a blender comp, is he? I don't know. I made uh, her. Where is she? For my blender comp team? I don't know where her stats are right now because I took some of her gear off. 216 speed is not bad. So if I go Arbiter, then her, then it goes with him first, and then her, because I don't have a skull crown. So her speed right now is 120. So is that slower than his? 126, okay, so let's see how this works. So usually he takes them down to less than 50%, hopefully, and then she comes in and hits him twice. So this could be, he could be used as a blender cop. You can't do it on auto though, because she doesn't, she doesn't work on auto. But we speed up, she does her thingy, so let's stun him, and then slow it down. So one, two, AoE, and then she doubles AoE. So that's kind of the goal for the blender comp, is he hits like the AoE, and then she comes in and cleans it up. So that could be one way to do your blender comp, is you can use him, potentially, any AoE, ch AoE champ for a blender comp. And I don't even like, I don't use her a lot, <laughs> as you could tell. But Bellower has like no HP, so he just dies. I'm just trying to show you how hard he can hit for in PvP. If he ever goes. Oh, look at that, he went 7,000. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to him going first. So let's get this team. Yeah, let's get this team going. So I need a stun guy, which is him, a debuff guy, which is him, and then Bellower. 
I'm gonna slow it down because I, I don't remember. I think 70,000, that was the most. Alright, speed up. Stun. Oh crap, I'm probably gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Alright, fast forward. He's too slow. Let's try this thing. Speed up. Stun. Speed up again, and then let's slow down and see how much you get for it. I don't know what his auto does. I think it was the A3. 85,000. Oh my god. That was awesome. So he hits hard. Not gonna lie, he hits freaking hard. Let's do one, one last one. I know you guys are curious, because <laughs> I um, don't care. <laughs> Alright, so, speed up. Again, if you have him normal, you don't need this guy. You could probably have another booster or somebody. Like a, like a apothecary. Um, but since he's so slow, I need, I need that CC guy. Let's speed back up. Okay, so, A3... 51,000. Now is he going to res back up? No, we just finished him up. Alright, cool. So, there's your nuker. So, I made a video of all the nukers that you can do, like how to PvP, like what you're trying to set up to, to nuke, and he definitely can be a nuker for your, for your team. And again, if you build people for PvP, they will be good in PvE. Um, if you build them for PvE, Early game, they're going to be good for PvP. But with the PvE aspect, make sure you're having enough HP so he's not getting targeted all the time. Make sure you have enough defense so that way you can like actually survive some of the, the AoE attacks. Um, but he's going to be good in crowd control. You put him in stun set, he's going to be really good in getting through the Faction Wars uh, crypts. But again, let me know what you guys think about him. He is one of my... He's the best... Probably the best campaign farmer that you can possibly get. Um, but again, he, he was just kind of like a fun build for me. And he's got such a unique weapon. Let me know what that weapon's called because I have no idea. Such a unique weapon. But cool. Guys, let me know. Appreciate the time. Hit the like button if, if, if you enjoyed the video. I did. Uh, hit the subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Appreciate the time. Good luck. Have a great week. And uh, we'll see you in another video soon.